Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel, My Morning Harvest. If you're new here, welcome, and thank you for coming over to watch. And if you're one of my faithful subscribers that keep coming back, thank you for coming back and watching. Before we get started, what I would want well, what I would like for you all to do is go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because, you know, it helps me get more views. You never know. Somebody might like what I say and the things that I do around here, okay? And also, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Um, And plus, that'll... Oh, and hit the notification bell because you never know what I might do, okay? Um, Also, um, let's see. What was I going to say? Uh... I forgot what I was going to say, so let's just go on to something else. So this video right here is going to be about my second seed swap that I was able to attend um, for the month of October. And also, I'm going to show you some free seeds that I received in the mail from an individual and a company. So welcome. Let's get started. Okay, so I would like to show you the big things first before I get into the seeds. And also, I'm probably going to get interrupted because... I have my tea kettle in there going and I'm waiting to hear it whistle because what I'm trying to do is wash, um, clean uh, some LECA. My goal is to um, wash four bags of LECA per day until I get the amount that I need because what I'm trying to do before I get ready to go out the country is I'm trying to convert all of my peace lilies. So that means I have 12 peace lilies to convert from soil to LECA. Um, I have 11 regular peace lilies and I have one variegated um, peace lily, which is the um, Domino. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in LECA as well before I leave. And there's going to be a lot. I think I'm going to have some, you know what? That's not what the video is about. So let me show you the big stuff that I got from the seed swap before we get into the seeds. So, one of the seed swappers brought a whole watermelon. This is the moon and stars watermelon. And he had it sliced in big chunks. And so, what you got, you know, the goal was, you know, you get to eat the watermelon and you get to keep the seeds from the watermelon. So, I got two slices. Um, one for me, one for my husband. But we didn't eat it because I don't do that. But we will definitely be getting the um, yellow meat moon and stars seeds out of this watermelon and I'm going to dry them and keep them. More than likely, I may take them to Africa with me. I'm not sure yet. I really haven't decided um, if I'll be taking any seeds with me on this trip because this trip is just to go over there and um, really um, supervise the building of our compound. Okay, so I got this flower. Don't, or, or whatever it is, don't know what the name of it is. Um, but I see it um, around town where I live, and I think it's beautiful. So hopefully, I can go ahead and get it going before I leave um, to Africa. Um, and then, also, I received this at the seed swap. Um, cannot remember what type of cactus it is, but it is a cactus that's going to produce fruit. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to let this bottom right here callus over and get hard and then it's going to start growing roots out right there and then I'm going to go and stick it in a pot of soil to you know let it take off and then hopefully um, it'll establish well and when I come back next year back to the United States I can put it in the ground okay. Let me let oh it's hurting me hold on a second. I mean, I'm just going to lay it right here until I get done. And I hope this don't end up being a long video. I don't like long videos because I have a short attention span. All right. So I was also able to get a loofah. There's also seeds inside of the loofah, but I wanted to get this sponge. You can definitely see the seeds inside. But I wanted to get this because I want to um, use it. I'm going to take this to Africa with me, the sponge. All right. And so, um, I got these pods, um, they're Moringa. I don't need no more Moringas, but you know, hey, better to have than not need, than need and not have. Okay, and I also picked this up. Now, I forgot, I totally forgot what this was, um, but I'm going to let it, um, let me see, 
I can't smell anything, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it open probably in the next few days, maybe this weekend, and get the seeds out of it and let those seeds dry out, okay? And um, as I was walking by, this um, guy just run up to me. He was like, have you got any okra seeds yet? I was like, well, no. And then so he just, he ran and he was like, here, take these. He threw them off in my bag. I asked him, did he know the variety? He did not know the variety, but that's okay with me because I love okra. I eat okra raw, boiled, baked, all of that. And then he handed me this big bag of Moringa seeds. So it looks like he harvested these on August the 8th um, of this year. Dang, that's one of my baby's birthdays. So I got this, another big bag of Moringa seeds. I love me some Moringa. Um, my goal is really to have Moringa trees all over my property that's here in the United States. So, you know, have no problem with that. And then also... Um, the same guy that gave me <laughs> all the other stuff, he had this big bowl that was just full of loofah seeds. Let's see if I can, um, get this down here so you guys can see these loofah seeds. Let's see. Bear with me. Uh, let's see. Is it going to show? Where's my hand? There you go. Big old thing. I mean, it's, it's the whole, my whole bag is full of loofah seeds down here in the bottom. This is the bag that I took with me to the seed swap. Okay. And I do um, plan on growing loofahs both here and on the continent of Africa. All right, let's get into the seed packs. So I have a Market Express turnip. Oh, this is free, guys. This is a seed swap haul. I have a Cardinal Basil. Now, I've never had this before, so I was excited when I saw that. I have a French Marigold Court Jester um, mix, you know, bring the pollinators to the yard. And then I have a late bloomer. It says fall blooming wildflower seed mix. So I'm gonna have to get my daughter to put that out. This is, it says Mag Sweet Melon Cantaloupe variety. Haven't heard of that one, so I have those seeds. And these are, let's, can we get those down? Come on, come on, come on. This says yellow marigold. So some marigold seeds. Can never go wrong with marigolds, guys. Um, I got a tomato and blossom set spray. Free. There's nothing wrong with free, honey. When it's free, it's be real good. Well, not all the time. I have a Picasso melon. Never heard of that. That's why I love going to these seed swaps because I'm able to get seeds that, you know, I don't have. And then I'm able to give them seeds that they don't have. And I got some, um, this says vinyl stretch tie. You know, you need to, you know, tie your plants off that's tall and stuff to the stakes. Free. That's something I don't have to buy. This is another French marigold pack of, um, marigolds there's there was another one off in here somewhere let me see can i find that yeah here's another one so that's the same thing that i showed you earlier the late um late bloomer fall blooming wildflower mix so there's the wildflowers off in there okay and so i got the dino egg melon and i didn't realize i had got this at the last seed swap if i had remembered that i wouldn't have gotten it again and so this right here is, it just has tomatoes on there. And the guy that had this, he just told me, he was like, I just put a whole bunch of different varieties of, of tomato seeds in each one of these. That way, you know, you have you a lot of different tomatoes. And so I'm cool with that. I got the um, phlox, you know, trying to bring the pollinators to the yard. I had, I got more, um, um, calendula mix, even though I did get this on the first seed swap, because my plan is to start making some soap, okay? This is another turnip um, Market Express. I got a Poppy California Orange. A Cardinal Climber. What's this? A status cotton candy, uh, cotton candy blend. A seed holly, steel blue. 
a bachelor's button blue boy um this says mm, it looks like it says sulfur cosmos i'm not sure I need, i'm gonna um research this to find out because like if that no there's no way it could have real sulfur in there no way okay um roselle hibiscus i made sure to get more packs of that because i plan on making hibiscus tea malabar spinach i had i got several packs of that because i'm gonna grow some here and i'm gonna grow some over um in africa Okay, that's more roselle hibiscus. I have some lemon basil. And then this right here is, oh, I cannot see this. I think this is another tomato, just a whole bunch of tomato varieties. That's more hibiscus. Okay, so I have some loofah gourd seeds. This one is called um, chocolate flower. More rosemary. This is um, summer savory. Sorrel. It says common sorrel. I'm going to grow that. Um, Georgia Southern Collards. True Greek Oregano. And garlic chives. My husband likes garlic chives, so I'm always thinking of my hubby. I have some Mexican tarragon. You know, I hope I have more than one pack. Oh, I hope I got more than one pack. This says Ha Ajin Melon. Never heard of it, so I'm excited to get those seeds. I love new and different things. And this is um green yard long beans. And this says Indian Spring Hollyhock Pink. So that's going to be a flower. More garlic chives. More collard Southern Georgia. Okay, so a Serrano Chili Pepper. My son loves hot food. I used to, but I had to leave that stuff alone, huh? Um, Bull's Blood Beets. I don't believe I have these seeds in my stash, so I'm happy about that. Moss Curl Parsley. Radish, rat's tail radish, cinnamon basil. That's more rose. That's more hibiscus. I wasn't playing with that hibiscus this time, honey. And I think this is another. Yeah, some more mystery tomatoes. Uh, let's see what else. This is a golden hammy melon. So I have those seeds. More Malabar spinach, moringa. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting that superfood. More green yard long beans. This is a, it says slow bolt cilantro. And then this is a birdhouse gourd. So I'm excited for that one, you know, to build some birdhouses and stuff. Um, And this says, oh, where is my eyes? Where is my eyes? It looks like it says honeywort kiwi blue. Not sure what that is, but I will be looking that up. And these are just all these different varieties of tomatoes. Um, let's see, is there anything else off in here? And so down off in the bottom of my thing is a lot of loofah seeds. And then this is the honeywort kiwi blue. Okay, so that's all I got. So the reason why um, I don't have as many seeds at this seed swap um then the first one that i went to is because um it actually started storming thundering and lightning and they had to close like shut everything down so you know it didn't get to um go to all the people that had their seats and stuff set up because the wind was blowing and it was like it was it was a mess but i'm still happy to get the ones that I did get, okay? So now what I'm about to show you, I'm gonna open this up, are the um, seeds that a lady online uh, sent me for free. And one, um, I don't believe this is a garden group. I believe this is a, mm, it's a seed group 
but I cannot remember the name of it. So she mailed me the seeds and then I mailed her the seeds that she didn't have that she wanted from me, okay? So that's, that's another way to seed swap through the mail. But also the people need to be trustworthy because one thing I don't like is if, you know what? It, well, my tea kettle is whistling. I hear it whistling in there. So I'm gonna have to stop this video and start it back. One thing I do not like is you send someone seeds they don't send me the seeds they promised you, you know, or somebody send me seeds and I forget to send them their seeds, which I have two people right now that I need to send seeds to and I keep forgetting to do it and I need to do it. So if we're going to seed swap through the mail, we got to be on it and we got to be diligent about it. Okay. So this is a um, paprika pepper that she sent me. She sent me pink echinacea and she sent me uh, plabano, uh, plabano pepper. Okay, so I'm excited about that. It says, um, Athea, I pray you are blessed with plants full of peppers and flowers. God bless you. Thank you for swapping. That is so sweet. But I didn't enclose a card to her. My brain doesn't work like that. All right, guys. So my tea kettle is whistling. I'm about to go get it and clean this lacquer. And I'll be right back. Okay, okay, guys, I'm back. I had to go and pour that oh, piping hot boiling water over some leco. Okay, so the next seeds I'm going to show you. I got these seeds. Um, well, first of all, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it or not in one of my videos, but I have a nonprofit, and the name of my nonprofit is well, I have two nonprofits. Okay. One of my nonprofit is Toyin's House. And that nonprofit is where we go and build eco homes and different things like that for homeless um, teenage females. And um, that's over in the US, homeless teenage females in the US. I took my glasses off because that glare is just doing something to me. So I can't even see. So we're just gonna go on the flow with this, okay? So um, Toyin's House, um, we build um, homes, eco homes, self-sustainable eco homes for um, homeless um, teenage females in the United States. And we also do it in um, on the continent of Africa. But in addition, um, for what we do on the continent of Africa, in addition, we don't do it only for um, homeless teenage females. We do it for the homeless males, and we also do it for children because, believe it or not, there's homeless children in Africa. And my first time going to Africa, and I saw that, and I was like, wow. I mean, toddlers. People are, I don't know. So, um, and the reason why I started um, Toyin's House, um, that nonprofit organization to build for um, homeless teenage females is because I don't know if you guys know about it or not, but I believe this happened in 2020. And this girl was an activist. Um, her, she was from Nigeria, but they were living in Florida. Um, I'm really not sure what happened to this young lady um, as to why she got thrown out of the house um, by her mother. But this is what I heard. This is what was said. I do not know this for a fact, but this is allegedly she had been being sexually abused and raped by her father and brother. And when she went and told her mother about it, her mother threw her out. Okay. So this young lady, 18 years old, out in the streets during the height of COVID in Florida, she was just looking for somewhere to lay her head, somewhere to take a bath anyway. Um, this guy offered her shelter. He was like, oh, well, you can come to my place. You know, you can shower. You know, I got food I can feed you. This man ended up tying this girl up and raping her over a course of days. And then he decided to kill her. And when that happened and I heard about that, that just really done something to me mentally. I mean, I was messed up. I cried for three weeks straight. And my husband was like, look, girl, you got to get out of this because you're going to send yourself into a very, very bad relapse, you know. And the reason why it hurt me so bad was because I was an 
Alawatoan Ruth Salau. That is her full name, Alawatoan Ruth Salau. But everyone called her Toyin for short. I was her. The only difference is I didn't die. I didn't get killed. I'm still here. And that's why that tore me up so bad. And it opened old wounds. And I told my husband, this is the nonprofit that I want to start. And this is what I want to do. And he said, okay, I'm going to help you make that happen. So that's what we do. All right. So my other nonprofit is Learn to Grow um, Sanctuary and Sensory Garden. That nonprofit is geared toward hunger. People that's in the community that's hungry. I have, um, well, I'm not going to say I because my husband owns it too. But we have this big property um, that we're not living on. So what we've done is we've turned it into a big, huge, might as well say, um, I don't want to call it a homestead because we're not living on it. But anyway, we have this huge property and all we do is grow fruits and vegetables and things like that. And we give it away to the community and we have it to where it's geared toward special need children and adults to get them um, interested and excited about learning how to grow their own fruits and vegetables. Everything's free. They don't have to pay for anything. And we send them home with, you know, seeds. Um, we send them home with whatever they need, um, you know, to get their own backyard. Well, you know what? And I've, I've gotten ahead of myself. Whatever they grow, they keep, okay? Also, what we do with this nonprofit is we give out we food baskets. I don't, you know, I'm the type of person, there's people that's hungry that won't tell you that they're hungry. And I feel like no one should be hungry. And I'm, um, I guess I'm kind of doing what my mom used to do, but my mom has started, um, uh, pantry at one in her church that she used to go to because you know she was like there's people in the church and in the community that's hungry but they're not going to let you know that and so you know i'm the same way no one should be hungry no one should go without so we do these food baskets and we just drop them off to people you know we i'm not gonna be like you know how some places oh you gotta prove you need the food I'm just going to give it to you because I never know. You never know when I might get down and I need something. I would like for someone to just give it to me. And also what we do is we um, help people set up their backyard gardens and teach them how to garden. So we supply them with um, seeds, soil, um, fertilizers, um, different things like that. So, And then um, another reason why I come is the name of it is learn to grow sanctuary and sensory garden and why i gear it towards special needs people is because i have a son that's autistic and i love him to pieces and um i love any person with special needs you know and so that's what we try to do and they love it they love that stuff okay so um one of the companies that i work with with my nonprofit and also um is um so right seeds so I wasn't even intending, did not even know I was going to get these seeds for free. So I had messaged um, the lady that I work with when I purchased my seeds from this company through my nonprofit. And so I just emailed her and I was like, hey, um, I sent you an email asking you about the price for the seed packets for my nonprofit and you never got back with me. And so she sent me an email and she apologized and she was like, you know what? you don't even, she was like, you don't even have to buy these seeds every year unless you want to. She said, because by you having your, and by the way, your nonprofit need to be registered and legit. She said, by you having a nonprofit, you're already entitled to a free box of seeds um, every year anyway. And I was like, what? So I was like, well, come on, girl, send them free, send them the, um, free seeds. <laughs> but I did go ahead and buy seeds too, because um, I like to always have a supply. So I got zinnias, several packs of that. I got echinacea. So I think what I may be doing with um, these seeds here, since we're getting ready to go to Africa, I'm going to take some to Africa and I'm going also, I will be giving some seeds away to people in need. Uh, pink zinnia. 
than this one. I'm just gonna stop reading them out because my eyes are bad anyway. So that color. And then this lighting is messing with me. Then we have some parsley, curl parsley. Two packs of those. Okay. Borage. Opal basil. Lemon basil. Another one. Some garlic chives. I like three packs of those. No, four packs. There's another pack up in there. Fennel. Two packs of those. Got some peppermint. Time. Let's see what kind of time does that say. That's if I can see it. Um, it just says time. Looks like I have four packs of the Daikon Radish. Um, two packs of the Cherry Bell Radish. China Rose Radish. Two packs of that. This is a Sugar Baby Watermelon. Golden Midget Watermelon. A Tender Sweet Watermelon. I, yeah, I definitely got Tender Sweet. That's in my own personal stash. I've had those um, for years. I've been growing watermelons and saving the seeds. A Watham Butternut Squash. We got some Straight Neck Squash. This is a Delicata Winter Squash. Do I have these in my own? I think I do. You know, I need to go through my own personal um, seed bank that I've been um, adding to over the years and see what I have that's my own that we grow on our property. Um, habanero pepper. White kohlrabi. What is that? Tatsoy. A California wonder pepper. Serrano pepper. Um, we got cayenne. We have cubanelle. These seeds are doing something to me, guys. Another cayenne. We have an orange sun pepper. Ooh, Ooh the children, they're gonna love this. A China rose radish. And that wait a minute. Yeah, another one. Let's see what kind of lettuce we have. I don't know if this is all the same or not. Let me see. So we have the Lola. Lola Rosa lettuce. We have the Little Jim lettuce. And then we have the Jericho lettuce. Also, guys, um, which I don't know if Burpee is still doing it, but um, Burpee was having a um, end of the season seed sale. Buy one pack of seeds, get a pack free. So jump on burpee.com, guys, and see if that's still going on. I'm not, I'm not, I don't need no more seeds for my personal self because I got plenty. But um, I will continue to buy seeds for my nonprofit. Um, Savoy cabbage, long purple eggplant. Got three, no, yeah, three packs of those. We have a French breakfast radish. It's like two packs of those. A Kentucky Wonder pole bean. Two packs of the Copenhagen um, Copenhagen um, cabbage. We got oh no, well that's some list of white cabbage right there. They're all mixed up. We got um, red acre cabbage.
several packs of spinach. Deseco broccoli. Uh, Watham broccoli. Oh, you know what, guys? While I'm over here um, talking, that's another spinach. Talking about these seeds. I remembered. Um, I do have a seed haul that I need to do of my own because I did um, buy more seeds from my own personal seed bank. And I got to get them all together and go through them. And I also got to get those websites together that I got those seeds from for my um, personal seed bank. So you guys can go there because it was some great prices. Um, Rainbow chard. Look like four packs of those. A Clemson Spineless Okra, Roma Tomato, Purple Top Turnip. A lot of these seeds. I could have just gotten uh, a yellow Spanish. Wait a minute, did I say that right? Yellow Sweet Spanish Onion. A Burgundy Okra. Um, Which I know this is not like my okra because my Burgundy Okra, I have been... um growing it for a number of years and I've been trying to um now I have it to where um when you plant it and it grows it be like big trees yeah I've been doing that oh that's another yellow sweet spanish a honey rock melon honeydew a honeydew two packs this is a I'm gonna say this is one because like, see that? Is that wine? I'm not sure. Canary melon. Great Lakes lettuce. And then we have um, salad bowl lettuce. Uh, butternut lettuce. Improved dwarf Siberian kale. Wow. There's some loofah gourds in here. <laughs> I got these at the seed swap. Um, bottle gourd. Um, straight eight cucumber. Uh, lemon cucumber. This says Beat or Bait Alpha cucumber. Chinese celery. Snowball cauliflower. Some of those. Uh, Corota carrot. Says colorful mix beets. We have a rainbow mix on some carrots. Let's get into the end, guys. Um, a green globe artichoke. Two packs of those. We have um, arugula, a golden globe beet, and a, how do you say that? Chiogia? I don't know. All right. So I would encourage um, anyone that cares about people. Um, and really um, want to help in their communities with food shortages and food hunger among your um, kinsmen or your neighbors or your fellow people. Um, register you a nonprofit. Um, a fully registered nonprofit um, can open doors you know, for you to help the community and help people that's not able to help themselves, you know. Inflation is high, paychecks aren't. Um, and, I'm in, and I'm a true believer in helping people. That's just how I was brought up, that's how I was raised, and I'm going to continue to do so in helping people. I have a really big heart. I don't know why I have a really big heart. I've tried to harden my heart, and I can't seem to do that. Um, I even help people financially, and I, you know, so that's just me. I've always been that way, and evidently, I'm not going to be able to change. So, what I, I want to show you guys something else before I go. So, hold on a second, 
and let me get it, all right? Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you when I say I have my tea kettle going and I'm washing Lekka. So this big bag of Lekka is a heavy bag. So <clears throat> I buy my Lekka from Home Depot online and they send it to me and it fills up one of these once you have it all washed and clean. And this is for the people in the house plant world that wants to put their plants in lacquer, you know, so you can cut down on pests and them dang fungus gnats because they get up in there and lay they dang larvae and that and it eats the roots of your house plants. Um so I got it off of Home Depot.com. It was a good price. I think they have the best price when it comes to LECA. Um, so I just want to show you guys that. Um, again, comment, like, share, subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Um, you know, please subscribe because it helps the video get out there to people that may like it. Also, um, really, really think about, you know, starting some type of nonprofit to help others. You know, there's nothing wrong with helping anybody. It really isn't. Um, also, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this because I am, I was in the hospital for a while. I'm glad that I'm out now. Um, so that kind of, you know, that really threw us back on getting ready for our, um, departure to go to Africa. So I'm going to go ahead and end this because I have a whole lot of stuff to do. Um, and, and not a whole lot of time because we got to get back over there so we can check on our compound. So happy gardening, happy house planting, um, stay blessed and not stressed guys. Bye-bye.